So off camera, I added Old Bay to the rice. Major difference. Add a little Old Bay. I know it's not an Asian thing, but it's a Miriam thing, okay? Welcome back to my channel, it's your girl Muriel, and today, <laughs> today, baby, we have ourselves some crab fried rice. I'm uh, super hyped about this. Please excuse me, I put the egg in late, okay? Um, for those of you who probably been watching me for a while, I don't eat eggs, so they don't like me. Not that I don't like them, but I love myself some mayonnaise, though. It's odd, and it doesn't bother me. But anyway, so um i put the egg in late so put the egg in a little earlier maybe right after you mix the onions and everything just kind of put the egg in there all right so i'm gonna stop talking and let's dig in it <laughs> i have crab oh it fell off i have crab claws because uh yesterday i ate crab legs mm, 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 mm. Mm, mm. I did taste everything. I had to taste it for salt. I wanted to make sure it was seasoned well. So off camera, I added Old Bay to the rice. Major difference. Add a little Old Bay. I know it's not an Asian thing, but it's a Miriam thing, okay? So here we go. Mmm, mmm. So good. That is so good. I do recommend adding some Obey to the crab meat. This jumbled up crab meat is, it's mild, it has a mild flavor and it needs, um, let me stop talking. Mmm. Mmm. This turned out really good. 
Yum yum sauce. I almost started not to make it. I have attempted to make yum yum sauce probably about five times and it never tasted right to me. So I said, let me get some of that Asian mayonnaise. And even after I mixed it together on camera, it still didn't taste right to me, so I almost didn't film it. But when I added the American mayonnaise, the Kraft mayonnaise, game changer. Add a little bit more sugar, game changer. I'm pretty sure once it sits overnight, it's perfection. Mmm. Mm-hmm. I do, however, recommend only one teaspoon of garlic. So I'll make the adjustments in the um, description box. The recipe that I followed, I had to follow something because I didn't know how to make it. The recipe that I followed um, called for two teaspoons. I recommend only one. Mmm! That is hitting. Straight bussing. Mmm. So how are you guys doing today? How are you doing? Baby. I'm doing just fine. I'm really sound like Tony Braxton this afternoon. Straight basin. Who do you think I am? <laughs> anyway. Adjust the ingredients how you like. I made the sauce. I saw um, on a video on TV. A video. I saw on TV when someone made a sauce. Add a little bit of sugar. I was like, let me try that because I usually don't add sugar to it. But I guess it's about contrast, but not to necessarily make it sweet. But it is definitely about contrast. Mmm. Mmm. I think I would have loved to add just some lemongrass. That would have made it really with that extra oomph, you know? Mmm. But it's truly fine as is. Now, according to the title, I know y'all want to know about this restaurant thing. And so do I. <laughs> Guys, I have no idea where to start, what to do. I always said that I probably would never open a restaurant, but I'm starting to change my mind about it. But I don't want it to be a particular restaurant, just one. If, when I open a restaurant, it's definitely gonna be a food hall. You know, burgers, a food hall that has restaurant, you know, restaurants in it. I don't know if any of you know about food halls, but um, I was going through pictures one day and I was I remember about the food hall that I went to in Raleigh. I love that. They even built one in Atlanta. But definitely a burger joint. Definitely a soul food joint. Definitely a, a seafood boil joint. Definitely a joint with desserts. <laughs> I would definitely not be in charge of that. Because <laughs> I'm a faker when it comes to being a baker. But definitely, mmm. What else? Definitely Mexican American, you know, type meals. Just different stations, probably like 15, 16 restaurants in one place, you know? But everything would have to definitely be about how I would make it, <laughs> besides the desserts. It'll definitely be about how I would make it and create it. Now, when is this restaurant popping off? I have no idea. I'm putting that in God's hands. 
I'm going to start to meditate and believe and pray and fast. It's the past year. I've been really in tune to the law of attraction and if I can use things to kind of like, you know, God will put, if I can use my mind and fast and most importantly belief, that's what gets you the things that you want is believing. My dad said, if you say it with your mouth, Believe it with your heart, which is the word that come to pass. Um, I've been on this spiritual journey, trying to transform my mind and my thinking and everything like that. I'm trying to think more positive. I'm trying to think of abundance. I'm trying to not think of lack. I'm trying to speak more positive and all that kind of stuff. I've been conditioned. I always think negative about stuff. I'm trying to transform him on that journey. It's not easy because my mind has just been trained to kind of think the worst, you know, in situations. You want to think like positive. You say, stay positive, stay optimistic, and all that kind of stuff. And then in five minutes, you're complaining about something just like that and you don't even realize it and that's because your body and your brain and your subconscious mind has just been conditioned to think like that so it's making a conscious effort <clears throat> it took years to get this way and this mind thinking it's going to take years to undevelop this kind of thinking so if you want to change your ways don't beat yourself up about it because if you don't get it in a week <laughs> it's going to take years years to develop a different mindset, a different concept, but <clears throat> in my learning, I didn't realize, but everything in my learning, I learned from church. <laughs> and I'm just like, how come I didn't get it in church? <laughs> how come I, but I get it now. You know, time, maturity, I guess, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just being, you know, open with you guys. You know, I don't do but so much of that. And I really want to do more of that with you all. You know, just be candid and be open. So, but yeah, restaurant, food hall, stay tuned. I don't know, maybe 2024, 2025. <sighs> Will you come? Will you come? I pray so. What location? Atlanta? Maryland. I don't think I would do this area. Um, I live on the eastern shore of Maryland. Um, it's a lot of rural areas. It's a rural area on the eastern shore. And um, there's a four mile bridge that separates the eastern shore from Maryland from the western shore of Maryland. On the western shore of Maryland, you have Annapolis, Baltimore, and so on. But I would probably put my food hall in Baltimore. Mmm. Bussin'. That's fire. If you... <laughs> I just belched. If you are new to the channel, welcome. <laughs> welcome. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for being part of the fam. As always, I greatly appreciate all of you. God bless you. And I'll see you on my next video. I love you. Peace.